Today is coming when who made the glory will rest in perfect peace over there. No, no, it's not an easy road. No, no, it's not an easy road. For Jesus walks beside me and he brightens my journey and he lightens every heavy load. No, no, it's not an easy road. No, no, it's not an easy road for Jesus walks beside me and he lightens my load and he lightens every heavy load. Amen. Very much, Amen. Sister Amen. Cynthia. Thank you. Glad to know he walks beside me, Elder Ramon, with Scripture Focus. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Meeting to friends. A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs 18.24 Jonathan, by birth, heir to the throne, Yet knowing himself set aside by the divine decree to his rival, the most tender and faithful of friends, shielding David's light at the peril of his own, the name of Jonathan is treasured in heaven and it stands on earth a witness to the existence and power of unselfish love. Education, page 157. Jonathan and David's friendship had a spiritual quality and a depth that is rarely seen anymore. Their friendship was based on a holy covenant of mutual spiritual support and commitment. Do you have spiritual friends? Are you a spiritual friend to someone else? Why not choose to commit to the spiritual development of your friends by putting personal desires and pleasures aside and committing time and love to support your friends in their walk with Christ? Amen. Amen. And now, our devotional nugget, Pastor Balvin Braham. Welcome. Thank you, Brother Dawkins. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope that you've all had a very good sleep last night, that you woke up this morning for breakfast with the Lord. Um, having breakfast with the Lord is, uh, is a good thing because it is an opportunity for us to draw closer to him. Let me also say good morning to Pastor Moss. If he's on, I'm not sure he is, but uh, oh yes, I see him there. Good morning to everybody. Um, the scripture passage that we read this morning is a um, very interesting passage. Um, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24. In this text, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. This is the um, thought from the wise man. I believe that there are many of us here this morning who have friends, but there are so many of us who have been let down by friends time and time again. But even though we have been let down by friends very often, we still, we still do have friends because in fact, God did make us to um, within a community so that we should share with others. Um, COVID-19 is creating a challenge for a number of individuals who like to meet physically and to catch up on what is going on. The situation that we are asked to stay indoors um, socially 
creates that kind of a challenge for individuals to develop that close friendship. But God, a long time ago, had everything worked out in his mind. And so he made sure that there would be some kind of technology that would be available so that in spite of uh, the challenges that we face, so we cannot be together, that definitely um, we can still connect. And so we're connecting through this medium this morning. I recall some years ago, I was in a class. A question was asked um, and people were responding. And a lady responded, I was doing a master's degree at the time. And one of the persons in the class responded. And she said this, I was born in a Christian home. I grew up in a Christian home. I attended Christian schools. Um, I attended a Christian university. I marry a Christian man. I am working as a teacher in a Christian institution, but I have never met the man. And she was talking about Jesus. She said, I've never met the man. This morning we're on this call. And against the background of this call to friendship, my question to each of us is, have you met the man? There is a friend that, that sticks closer than a brother, is what the text says to us. And we can open up to our friends. We can share with them. We can talk with them. But ever so often, they let us down. The things we say to them are sometimes heard in places we would never like them to be heard. But the assurance we have this morning is that we can talk to Jesus. Amen. We need to know him. He, we can confide in him. He is confidential. Mm -hmm. He loves us. Mm -hmm. He cares about us. Our needs, he has those as number one on his agenda to address. You might recall the song that says, God is watching from a distance. And I want us to know this morning that friendship is not built from a distance. Friendship is built from, by being upfront and close. We may be friends on telephone. We may be friends on WhatsApp, etc. But you know, when we come closer to each other, where we begin to see each other's um, verbal and nonverbal gestures, where we begin to see some things in persons that we couldn't see through the telephone, then sometimes the relationship becomes changed. Friendship in this life is good, and we need others. And that that's why social distancing must not continue forever. We must come back together. But of all the friends that we may have in this life, I just want to share with you this morning that the best friend to have is Jesus. And I like the song that was, was done for us this morning. Um, it's not an easy road that we are traveling on because the people we want to confide in and the people we confide in in this life, they sometimes let us down. But I brought you good news this morning. You may be suffering right now because of what someone close to you should have done that the person never did or something that someone close to you did that the person should not have done. But I've come to tell you this morning that your best friend is Jesus. Come close to him. Know him. He is working in your interest. In my interest, we have hope that one day, our present circumstances will be changed and it will be changed forever. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, our best friend, is coming back to take us to be with him where he is. Amen. And he sends us this, the message in John 14 where he said, let not your heart be troubled. 
believe in God, believe also in me. He says, in my father's house are mansions, many mansions. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again to receive you unto myself that where I am, you may be also. That is friendship. That is God's friendship. That's Christ's friendship. That's closeness. And he wants us to grow in friendship with him. So today, as we pray, let us pray that God will help us to grow closer and closer with him. Let's pray that we will know him. Whom to know is life everlasting. Today, the word is friendship. Be the friend that you would like someone else to be to you. Be that to somebody else. Because you know what? It is so easy for us to talk about what we want mm -hmm. in others. But it's so difficult for us to be what others want in us. Be what you want in them so that they can be what you want in them. And by the way, my friends, just remember, if, you, if anybody has failed you in this life, be forgiven. Your best friend is Jesus. Amen. And he's coming back for you. Amen. We struggle today. We struggle today. We, we see bereavement. We see death. We see suffering. We see dying. And people die lonely. You hear them tell the story in COVID-19? How they die alone? Nobody around them? Nobody that they can talk with to even to touch them. Oh, my friends, Jesus is always there. Mm -hmm. Whatever that pain is that you may go through this morning, whatever your struggle, Jesus is always there. Mm -hmm. Know him. Love him. Serve him. Live for him. Be his best friend, for he is your best friend. He is our best friend. And I tell you, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. So as we pray this morning, I'd like you to consider the prayer thoughts. The prayer thoughts for today is one, pray for friends. Pray for an unentered territory in Kenya where they are entering with the gospel. Pray for a community out in Phoenix, Arizona, where they are building a community center, a church is repairing a community center to serve the public. And pray for the online evangelism program that we're launching in the Inter-American Division Territory, where we are asking every member to have at least one person registered to take a Bible study. And then later this year, we want to have an online evangelism campaign where we want to invite all those persons who are taking the Bible studies to be there. Let's not be selfish, but let's be careful for other people as well. Christ is coming. He wants to be our best friend. Call someone today and say, Jesus is your best friend. Make him your best friend. Jesus is your best friend. Make him your best friend. Let us pray today for friendship and a closer walk with Jesus Christ. Pleasure to worship with you, and God bless you all. Amen. Amen. So soothing. So encouraging. That's a special word. And I know, Pastor, you have spoken to the hearts of all of us in this room this morning. We are going to go to prayer now. Pastor has already given us our prayer focus points. Um, I'm not going to open the rooms this morning. What I'm going to do, 
in the time we have left, we are going to have three prayers, and then we're going to ask Pastor Baldwin, um, wow, <laughs> yeah, to come back and pray for us in the end. So Sister Linden, Sister Valerie, and Elder Joseph, we're going to ask you to focus those prayers for us this morning. And then Pastor Balvin will come back and close us out this morning. I want you to remember that uh, our pastor is a bit under the weather this morning. So he has sent his ap apology, Pastor um, Balvin, that he was not able to stay in the room this morning. Okay, so let's go, Sister Linden. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you, God, for waking us up this morning. We want to say thank you, oh God, for allowing us to break this fast with you today. We thank you, oh God, for the word that we heard this morning, and we thank you for your servant who brought the word to us. Mm -hmm. God, thank you for reminding us that you are to be our best friend, and we are to be your friend. Oh God, forgive us where we have failed you. Forgive us where we have doubted you. Forgive us, oh God, where we have not trusted you totally. And fill us with your Holy Spirit. And as we go through this day, Lord, may we take the word with us. May we befriend the people. We may we work because God, the night is coming where we won't be able to work no more. And you have children out there in other denominations and even within our churches who are not saved. God save them, help us to do our part. God, use us and bless us. And Father, let your will be done. Be with the pastor who's not feeling too well, God. Bring healing to him. Be with the bereaved within our congregation, cover them. The said that are hungry, who don't have jobs, God, who need monies. God, bless them and answer their prayer. And Father, when you come, help us all to be saved. And those that we work with, may they be saved too. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, and oh God, we just want to linger a little longer this morning. Mm -hmm. Recognizing your awesome presence among us you're not far away as the message said this morning but you're always ever so close mm -hmm. to care for us and to deliver us lord we want to thank you for the message this morning and we want to thank you for the message may it bring a sweet balance in our lives where we can know for sure and be reminded that you are ever present in our walk with you Lord, we want to reach out this morning for the prayer focuses, especially, O oh Lord, for the unreached territories of Kenya, where the church is set to evangelize, O oh God, even in this COVID period, that it is challenging to make personal contact. We pray that somehow through your divine providence that you will reach out through the online services that we have from day to day. So may they utilize the technology to reach the souls of men through the agency of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we want to pray for the uh, members of New Providence and the sister congregation who come together every morning in a dedicated way to meet and to lift up the church and the brethren and themselves in prayer. Oh Lord, bless this ministry. Continue to be with them. And may everyone go out today and have a blessed day, a day of faith. But that they will also bring hope to other believers. Have your divine way in our lives, oh God. And may your spirit continue to transform us that we shall be ready when you come to receive us. Here and accept our praise this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sister Valerie, and then we'll take Sister Brother Ramon. Our Father and our God, we pause another time just to give you praise and thanks, dear God, for what you have done for us. Yes. Father God, we thank you for watching over us. Oh, yes. And we thank you, God, for being our best friend, dear God. Father, we pray this morning that we will 
you will allow us there, God, and help us to have a closer walk with you, dear Jesus. Amen. Dear God, we present our families, dear God. Mm -hmm. Father, our friends, dear God, help us to show love each day, dear God, mm -hmm. for you are a God of love and you've been good to us, dear God. So help us to exhibit the same kind of love to our brothers and our sisters, dear God. Yes, Father, those that we cannot see, dear God, we pray, dear God, that our prayers, dear God, will be accepted by you, Father. Lord, we present the sick among us, dear God. You know each one of them, dear God, on our prayer list. We pray every day, dear God. We ask, dear God, that there will be a breakthrough there, God, and you will restore healing to them, Father. Our God, we ask right now that you will remember and remember those persons in Kenya, the community in, in Phoenix, their God. Father, we pray for the evangelism of the church in our entire inter-American division, their God. We thank you, their God, for what you are doing in our lives. And Father, we present our pastor today, Lord, who's not feeling so well. Father, you know him. And Father, we pray that you will touch his body there, God, wherever, whatever is going on there, Father, we ask that you will work it out. Loving Lord, thank you for the word this morning. Help it, Lord, to dwell in our hearts there, God, and that we may be able to share. Father, we are living in the last days, dear God. Oh, yes. So keep us faithful, dear God, so that when you come, we will be able to go to that place where you have gone to prepare for us, dear God. Help us, Lord, to be faithful. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 The Father, we thank you once again for another time, another moment, another morning, mm -hmm. that we are awake and alive and well, that we are in our right minds. Father, we thank you for the ability to come together and to pray and to, and to fellowship. Father, we thank you for the encouragement. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for the prayers that you've already answered in powerful and mighty ways for us. Father, we thank you for hearing us morning after morning, day after day, moment by moment, as we usher prayers together collectively and as we usher our many prayers throughout the day. Father, we thank you for all that you've been doing for us. And we thank you that you have a God who sticks closer to us than anyone else, mm -hmm. a God that never leaves us, a God that never forsakes us, a God who is incapable of, of, of failing God. Father, we thank you for the word we had today. Father, we thank you for our best friend, Jesus. Father, may we rely and lean on wholly on him. Father, we, we recognize that Jesus can never fail, Father. We might fail in our expectations. We may fail in what we think he may do, but Jesus is incapable of failing. Father, help us to trust you. Father, help us to trust you even when we can't see our way out. Father, we are in a time where COVID-19 paints a very unsure um, view of the future. But Father, you know the future and we know that you know yes. what's going to happen. So Father, we place our trust in you. We place our hope in you. We place all our all on you, Father. Father, help us to be friends to each other. Help us to be friends to our community. Help us to show as a friend of those who are unable to help each themselves, who are unable to provide for themselves, who are unable to even pray for themselves. Father, so many do not know your name. They don't know you. They don't know. They don't have the peace that we have. Father, help us to share this, this word, this knowledge with others as we go throughout our days. Help us to not get lost in our own Mm. issues and trials but help us to also look to others and and seek to help others even in spite of ourselves father help us to remember all who are struggling and to remember them to call before your name father we know that you know all mm -hmm. things 
But we also know that your power is activated when we come before you, when we bow our knees and our heads towards you. So, Father, let us not only remember our own needs, but remember the needs and the wants and others. Father, we, we've heard of so many things happening during this time of families being stretched, of marriages being tested, of relationships breaking down in, in the face of adversity. Mm-hmm. But Father, we know that you are a healer and you are a restorer of all things. So Father, we ask that you step into these marriages. We ask that you step into these homes. Father, we ask that you stand up for these children who are suffering okay. in our various um communities and father we ask that you restore that you build that you mend that you keep these families and these relationships from falling apart father father we ask that you give us a forgiving heart that we may even forgive those who have wronged us before who may be even wronging us now during this event father we pray that we would be able to just let everything go and just let you have your way father father we pray for your continued protection as we go out. We pray for your continued support of the evangelism efforts that are being done by the church and various ministries throughout the throughout our conference. Father, we thank you for the harvest that is being reaped, and we thank you for all that you're doing to help support us. Be with us as we go throughout the rest of this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Bob. Our gracious Father. We want to thank you this morning for the home visitation program that you are involved with. Yes. In that home visitation program, Lord, we're so glad and delighted (coughs) that the homes of each of us on this call this morning Mm -hmm. are included. And that your visitation is not sporadic, but you visit daily and continually. Thank you for the assurance of your presence with us. There may be some of us who are close to our bed, if not in our beds this morning. We may be at different points in our homes, Lord. Thank you so much for this opportunity that you are close to us. That you're not a God who watches from a distance, but you're a God who is up front and close. We're glad. And we're happy to be your friends, Lord. We're glad that you call us friend. Thank you for the confidence that you have in us. Oh God, build our confidence in ourselves, in you, and in each other. And so we pray today that you will help those of our friends, our colleagues, our relatives, our family members who once walked with you, but now they no longer do. Restore them, Lord, we pray. Bring them back to that first love. Bring them back to that friendship relationship with you once more, we pray. I know there are hearts that are troubled this morning. People who are emotionally disturbed because of the close ones to them who have turned their backs on you. Mm. Oh God, I pray for parents this morning who are worried about their children who once walked with you. And I pray that as you do your home visitation program this morning, you will visit the homes of all of those children, of all of those friends, of all of those colleagues, of all of those who once walked with you and that you will bring them back. I pray for the evangelistic programs that are now being conducted in various places around the world, including that in Kenya, in Phoenix, Arizona, those that are happening online evangelism, through the internet that's reaching so many people. Oh God, I pray that genuine closeness will be developed, that responses will be made, that will be just responses that are not just for time, but eternity. I want to present to you the New Providence Seventh-day Adventist Church this morning, the pastor who's not feeling very well today, his family I present to you, oh gracious Father. Brother Dawkins, his family, I present to you, the family of each of us on this call this morning, my own family, my wife, who is also on the front line as a nurse, one of our daughters also who is on the front line. We lift them up to you this morning. We pray, O Lord, that you will quarantine everyone who has to be on the front line in this COVID-19 situation, that you will come close to them as you have always been, remain close to them and protect them. 
We pray for those who are bereaved this morning and who are so emotionally disturbed because they're not even able to come together because of the distancing situation. Oh Lord, we pray that you'll bring healing to their hearts and that you will heal their hurts and that you will help them to be able to live with this until. We pray for those who are in ICUs, those who are struggling, Lord, who are suffering the the pains and the pangs of it all we pray that you will just break come close to them and that you will bring healing lord we are crying out for hope this morning give us again that hope that we need to have and may we live confidently understanding that you're preparing mansions for us in glory and that you're going to be coming again to take us home to be with you thanks for your friendship with us lord Thanks for every member of your church that's participating in this 100 days of prayer. Lord, bring healing. Remove COVID. But may we all get the message. This is not home. We're not home yet. Lord, have mercy. home is on its way. Mm. And you're coming back in the name of Jesus, in the person of Jesus, to take us home. Ready us, Lord, we pray. And come quickly, for we ask it in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. And Lord, remember the Bahamas mm -hmm. and those who continue to suffer from, from the deluge caused by that hurricane. Oh God, we know that lives are still torn. People are still breaking up. Mm. They're still suffering, Lord. Some are, some are even despairing. They don't know if they're going to get it back together. Mm. This morning, we intercede, Lord. We petition you. We call on your name. Answer our prayers according to your riches and glory. You've done it before, Lord. You've worked miracles and time and time again. Give us a miracle this morning, we pray, gracious Father. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you for answering our prayers. And we say amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor Bram, for coming to us. We miss you the last time, and we are happy that you were able to make it this morning. And it was really a special blessing for all of us. In fact, in this room today, you have one of your converts, somebody by the name, Vernita Mac, that you baptized, I think, in St. Elizabeth. Oh, can you imagine? So... We want to thank you very much for coming and for being here with us.